You can read more about many of the stories in this week's show in the current issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, available the first of the month at hundreds of advertiser locations and online at mohawkvalleyliving.com. Tune in to the new MVL Marketplace, a local business billboard TV show featuring all of our advertisers, plus local trivia and music by local songwriters. Every Sunday at 8 a.m. and 11.30 p.m. on Fox 33. The Steet Ponte Auto Group in Yorkville and Herkimer and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. We're traveling all over the Mohawk Valley today, including downtown Utica for a bite. We'll also be seeing a lot of things made from goat's milk to milk tanks to lawnmowers. So stay tuned. I came rolling down the hill, down into the Mohawk Valley. Every month, MVL Magazine features an article about Oneida County history. In celebration of downtown Utica's current revival, Brian Howard explains urban renewal and what we can learn from the past. Back in the 1950s, the city recognized that there were areas that really could be redeveloped for new purposes, and they went into the idea of urban renewal with the backing of the federal government and federal funding for uh, the uh, demolition of a lot of old neighborhoods with the idea that what was going to be built in their place would be an economic spark for the city. Uh, it worked in some cases, but uh, what uh, the long view of urban renewal is, at least this first generation back in the 50s and 60s, is that Unfortunately, we lost a lot of our architectural history, a lot of the neighborhoods that really contributed to the character of the city were wiped away. And so urban renewal back then was a, you know, there were some successes, uh, but there were also some failures and that fundamentally altered the, uh, the, the nature of downtown Utica. One of the big lessons of the first generation of urban renewal was that we can't ignore our architectural past. And this latest generation is one that has truly embraced the idea of historic preservation and the repurposing of buildings instead of the wholesale destruction of them. And you can see that all throughout the city. The construction of loft apartments downtown, the renovation of the Bag Square neighborhood, the interest that these new buyers have in not just buying a property and taking down what was there, but buying a property and investing in making uh, the, the buildings something new, something appealing. And this generation uh, ties together the, the past with the future. And I love what I'm seeing downtown as a result of that. So more power to them. When planning your family's future, turn to the principles of the past. Turn to Turnbull. Turnbull Insurance Service is an independent agency representing the most dependable companies for all your insurance needs as well as complete financial planning and wealth management. Call today for a free assessment. Come explore the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, featuring over 45 vendors of antiques and vintage items. You'll also find all your garden needs at the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center on Main Street in Newport. Brenda's Natural Foods is the natural choice for healthy local products, gluten-free and gourmet foods, personal care and natural cleaning products. Brenda's Natural Foods, West Dominic Street in Rome. 
The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Paca Gardens has the largest selection of the finest alpaca clothing and products in central New York. The store has doubled in size and features hundreds of sweaters for men, women, and children starting at just $39.95. There are also dozens of styles of soft alpaca socks in a rainbow of colors, including therapeutic socks to aid circulation. Shop Paca Gardens, open Monday through Saturday at 27 West Main Street in Little Falls, across from Fall Hill Bead and Gem. When you shop Meelan's Market, you'll be the grill master. That's because every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Meelan himself. Find everything for your next cookout from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Meelan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Call Elite Taxi 338-9999. Serving Greater Rome and running 24-7 so you can too. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed. Specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry. As well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro. Come see what's new for spring at the Village Crossing. Colorful fashions are arriving daily. Plus, huge discounts on winter. Make it go away. And make way for spring at the Village Crossing, West Park Row in Clinton. You keep saying you're going to do something about your back and joint pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone, one of the area's only K-Laser Therapy chiropractors, the most advanced non-invasive treatment of acute and chronic pain. Call 853-6225 and embark on your wellness journey today. Just north of Utica on Trenton Road, there's another revival happening, building on the region's long history of hops. Woodland Hop Farm and Fermentation is Oneida County's first farm brewery. It was opened in January by three young teachers with a passion for brewing. Uh, it's probably five years in the works. Um, I moved to Rome six years ago. I uh, met Keith and AJ, we worked together. Um, we all talked together and uh, ate lunch together, spent three periods together. I started brewing with Keith, you know, four or five years ago, and uh, there's just a lot of talk about beer, a lot of sharing, and uh, always just speculation of what's it like to open your own brewery. And uh, as, I guess, the small brewery scene kind of just kept growing and growing and growing, you see more and more of them pop up and you just, it just becomes more and more believable and seems more and more doable. Um, and then last, uh, last February, I think, AJ visited a brewery in North Carolina, um, opened by three teachers, and came back totally convinced that it could be done and that it should be done. And that was really the spark that, that got everything started and then it just caught fire from there. And just the community support has been, been great. People have been really excited about something new, something different, something small. And I think a lot of people have just come just because they want to support us and a small business in the area that's new. That's been really awesome. Woodland Hop Farm and Fermentation is open Tuesday through Sunday with food, live music, and events like Arts and Drafts and Thursday Trivia Nights. Visit woodlandbeer.com for a schedule of events. It's hard to believe with the crowd of customers that Bite Bakery and Cafe hasn't even been open a year. The vision of Jason and Doug Allen Leonard, the cafe is helping fuel the renaissance of downtown Utica with good food, fabulous baked goods, and a fun atmosphere. I am here in downtown Utica at a restaurant called Bite, and it's right across from the old Boston store. It brings back memories from my childhood. It is absolutely fantastic. Be sure to make it a point to take a trip down here it will be well worth your while. Have a bite or two, three or four. We uh, renovated a loft down by the train station. Uh, we moved back from New York City. We uh, lived there for a little bit. Uh, came back home, renovated the loft, and uh, we usually walk our dogs up and down Genesee Street. And this section of Franklin Square always reminded me of Clinton a little bit. And uh, I saw the space is vacated, and uh, I'm like, I gotta find out who owns it. I would love to uh, have my business there. And uh, you know, we just went through the motions of finding out who the owner was and 
kind of in a roundabout way, we ended up knowing who he was. And uh, we sat down at the table and gave him our concept. And he believes in development in the city and, you know, believed in us. And uh, we went through the motions of design-wise and what we wanted visually. And uh, he worked with us to get it where it needed to be. Construction was about four months in total. I want them to experience the food, obviously. The baking is a huge part of it. Um, I want them to experience, you know, coming downtown and looking around and seeing the good things that are going on and just being able to come in here and whether it's for a cup of coffee and a pastry or bring a group of your friends and have lunch here and, you know, have that, have that uh, avenue to come in and have good conversation and a great atmosphere. That's, that's what I really want. Check out Jorge Hernandez's article about Bite in this month's issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine. And take a trip to downtown Utica to enjoy a bite at Franklin Square. Bite Bakery and Cafe is open seven days a week. On a misty spring morning, we take a trip east to the city of Little Falls. We are visiting Feldmeyer Equipment, manufacturer of stainless steel processing equipment, serving companies worldwide from the pharmaceutical and biotech industries to brewers and food and dairy facilities. It all began with an innovative Little Falls engineer. Well, Mr. Feldmeyer started our company in 1952 in Syracuse. Um, we've grown since then to six facilities. Uh, in addition to the two facilities we operate in Little Falls, we also operate our headquarters in Syracuse and we have facilities in Alabama, Iowa, and Nevada. Uh, we make stainless steel processing tanks and storage tanks uh, for a variety of industries. Uh, we work for pharmaceutical, cosmetic, food, dairy, beverage, and brewing industries. Uh, a little bit of everything happens in Little Falls. We do serve a variety of industries for not only the United States, but also around the world. Uh, we currently have in production units going to uh, United States, Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico, as well as Ireland. And we recently finished projects that are going to Asia and South America. If you go through the grocery store, basically anything that's liquid is stored in our tanks. Uh, it has began as life some, in some way in our tanks. We have a variety of sizes from little tabletop units up through 60,000 gallon vessels that we fabricate in house. As a company, we employ about 450 people. We have about 150 people that are employed in Little Falls and we have employees that have well over 20 years of experience working for the company. We have a lot of equipment as you look around our facility that is specialized to our industry, but really it's the people that make the difference. We have a lot of skill that goes into the making of our equipment and a lot of craftsmanship that's apparent. When I look through the shop, I'm always surprised and pleased to see the amount of craftsmanship and skill that goes into every one of them. We're a family owned company, so it's nice to see the growth and expansion that happens in the valley. A lot of people aren't aware of the amount of equipment that's produced here in the valley and it's exciting to see it on a daily basis how much of an impact we have to see what we can see traveling around the Mohawk Valley let's see The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. I love Mohawk Valley Living. We love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. Hey, I'm Genesee Joe, and I love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. Life, auto, business, home, and just about everything else for your insurance needs, let Gates Cole help. And welcome back. Right now, the story is Smith Family, 257 miles. Come explore the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, featuring over 45 vendors of antiques and vintage items. You'll also find all your garden needs at the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center on Main Street in Newport. Welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. 
Come on in and browse thousands of unique items that change on a daily basis. Shop for yourself or for someone else. We're open every day from 10 to 5. We look forward to your visit here at Historic Canal Place in Little Falls. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. You keep saying you're going to do something about your back and joint pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone, one of the area's only K-Laser Therapy chiropractors, the most advanced non-invasive treatment of acute and chronic pain. Call 853-6225 and embark on your wellness journey today. In the sleepy little village of Munsville, few would guess that inside the walls of the old Stockbridge Valley Central School, hundreds of people are building lawnmowers. Briggs & Stratton Power Products Group, designer and manufacturer of Ferris commercial mowers, moved their operations here in 1998, believing it was the best location for their people. The company started back in 1909 as an agricultural company. In the early 80s, agriculture was going through a lot of diversity or difficulty, I mean, and uh, uh, Dave Ferris decided they need to diversify the company. So we actually started in outdoor power equipment and particularly lawnmowers. We designed our first lawnmower in uh, 1985 and 86, and in 1986 we sold 125 units. This, this building that we're in now was originally the Stockbridge Valley uh, Central High School and K through 12 actually. So uh, in 1998, we were out of space in our small two acre spot in Vernon where we started. And uh, uh, we got the offer from the community here to, re if we would relocate our business here, they would give us the school and 14 acres of property. So we took them up on that. Uh, didn't seem like the likely thing to do for manufacturing, but it's pretty much about the people. It's not about the building. So uh, when we look at it from that aspect, this was the heart of where all our employees were. We just uh, did what we had to to convert the buildings. Well, actually we designed the mowers right from scratch. Uh, we designed them to compete in the marketplace. Uh, and then we manufacture uh, almost all of the sheet metal. We buy engines, we buy transmissions, we buy seats, we buy tires and wheels and things like that. Um, but we do, as you can see, we do a lot of the fabrication, a lot of welding, painting, and uh, final assembly. Well, uh, we have a favorite saying here, and that's that uh, products are a reflection of the people that build them. So uh, a lot of rural folks here uh, that, uh, you know, got a great work ethic, and they've got, you know, some basic, some have very advanced technical skills, and others have basic skills, and if we need to teach them is, in advanced welding and robots, we'll do that. Uh, in assembly, if you got basic uh, knowledge of some tools, uh, we, can, we can train for that also. Painting, we have to pretty much train right from scratch. There's not a lot of painting operations around here. Same thing with a lot of the fabrication. We train right from scratch, pretty much. Well, the newest innovation, we got one of them this year. We just ended, uh, entered what's called the stand-on uh, riding mower market, where it's very compact. Got a, high visibility area for a lot of compact properties and things. Um, there's a lot of new things. I can't really say uh, we want to tell our dealers and our customers first. Uh, they want them to hear things second, but uh, uh, we've been growing uh, generally double digits and we've doubled our business in the last seven years and we plan to do that again in the next five to seven years. So um, lots of innovations in new products and basically making uh, landscapers more productive so that they can cut more grass and earn more dollars uh, using our equipment. We go from mowers to choppers and another business that people may be surprised to find in Munsville. Hillside Motorcycle and Machine is a world-renowned engine performance building and rebuilding machine shop with over 30 years experience and customers on four continents. We have working here from uh, Oahu. We have working here from Michigan. Uh, several jobs from downstate Long Island. Uh, I'd have to look at all the work orders to see actually where they're from. And uh, 
They are all levels of performance. Uh, there are very few re actual repairs, although we do very odd repair work where folks, other folks, other shops can't accomplish it. Again, with our machine shop capabilities, uh, we're able to do things that others can. Well, it's pretty satisfying to see the smile on the customer's face when it's all done and he's happy. The, pl the plan, hit, the groundwork has been laid with a plan. The plan has been worked and it c comes out to his satisfaction. Uh, that's very satisfying right there to have that. Probably keep them for life too, these customers. A lot of them, are uh, they come back, they change motorcycles, they come back again, they refer their, their uh, relatives or riding friends and uh, our world just continues to turn at that point. Free life is all they will ever need But for me, I can never be free Look through the iron bars and the dusty railroad track a popular place to shop in Munsville is Between Us Sisters Primitive Shop. Owners Gwen Isbell and Michelle Russ just finished their annual spring home tour and open house, raising over $1,300 for the Salvation Army. Every year they open their homes to give customers ideas on how to add primitives to their home decor. Between Us Sisters is open Tuesday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday 11 to 4 at 6170 Valley Mills Road in Munsville. You can find them on Facebook. Inside this prison, I cannot leave me. Inside this prison, I will forever be. All it took was a woman's love to turn my head. All it took was her to cheat, see him dead. I tried to run, but I ran much too slow. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Shop John Frost & Son. Find furniture and flooring for people who love their home. Featuring Hardin, Lazy Boy, and Amish made furniture. Serving Central New York for over 125 years on Route 5 in Sherrill and online at frostfurniture.com. Pick up the April issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, featuring our monthly guide to local restaurants and much more. Available starting April 1st at hundreds of local shops and restaurants. I love Mohawk Valley Living. Paca Gardens has the largest selection of the finest alpaca clothing and products in central New York. The store has doubled in size and features hundreds of sweaters for men, women, and children starting at just $39.95. There are also dozens of styles of soft alpaca socks in a rainbow of colors, including therapeutic socks to aid circulation. Shop Paca Gardens, open Monday through Saturday at 27 West Main Street in Little Falls, across from Fall Hill Bead and Gem. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. Come explore the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, featuring over 45 vendors of antiques and vintage items. You'll also find all your garden needs at the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center on Main Street in Newport. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed. Specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry. As well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro. To see can see traveling round the Mohawk Valley. Let's see what we can see. 
If you were a goat, Cedar Park Farm in Springfield Center is where you would want to be. And when Jack Armstrong retires, this is where he wants to be, caring for his family of American Alpine goats and providing nutritious raw goat milk for his community. Uh, way back uh, when I was younger, of course, um, I started with, what kind were they? Nubian goats. I had a bunch of them, and, I, and then we had to sell them because we didn't, there was no place for the milk to go. So then uh, I started with about three goats, and I told my wife that I wanted to have milk to drink, and all of a sudden we ended up with 30 goats. And we started to figure out, we've got to pay for this stuff. So we started uh, having a, had to get a bulk tank, have milk inspectors come in, the state come in, and so we are legal. Milking season is April till about December. And uh, after that, uh, there's the, they cut down on the quantity of milk and, and because they're usually bred by that time. So when they're bred, they put all the nutrients and everything in themselves and the baby, not in milk. And that's when you take your vacation. And that's when I go on vacation, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's what cold. Is vacation for you? <laughs> it, it vac I don't get one too much. In fact, I'm going to retire in uh, 10 months, uh, three weeks. So uh, then I can spend most of my time here. So when you say retire, you don't mean retire from goat farming. No, I retire from where I'm working. And uh, in fact, the inspector come in and says, at your age, you do you really want to do this? Because uh, don't you want to go places? I says, no, I like being home. So, and this is, this is what I built. I built all these barns myself and the kids helped me a little here and there. And I just like, Built, I like building stuff and not and the welding and all that stuff I do it makes everything I want to make I can make it myself pretty much. So. Cedar Park Farm is located on Route 80 just north of Springfield Tractor in Springfield Center. You can learn more on their website cedarparkfarm.wordpress.com and look for their article next month in the May issue of Mohawk Valley Living. Just before she leaves, I wish there was...